guys. So, ang introduce ko naman sa inyo, itong isa sa mga application na kasama doon sa Microsoft Office 365 na meron tayo. So, yung mga next tutorials ko, i-discuss natin ano na ba yung mga applications na yun at paano ba ito makakatulong. So, itong office na siguro yung iba sa inyo, familiar na dito. Yung, o yung iba ngayon pa lang to may encounter. So, meron palang office lens na kasama doon sa ating Microsoft Office 365. So, paano na ba natin ito magagamit at paano ito makakatulong? So, lalo na ngayon, no, gawaan ng module. Kung kukopya tayo ng lessons natin sa book, hindi na natin siya kailangang kopyain manually. So, gagamitin lang natin itong office lens para makapture yung mga word text doon at i-convert niya to automatically into word documents. So, what is office lens? Microsoft Office Lens is a great way to capture information from documents, whiteboards, business cards, receipts, menus, signs, unwritten memos, or anything else containing text that you want to import but not manually type out of yourself. With Office Lens, you don't need to jot down any notes by hand. Rely on blurry cell phone, images, or worry about misplacing anything. Office Lens is a great way for capturing sketches, drawings, and equations too, even images without text. When capturing images, Office Lens gets rid of shadows and odd angles, so your final captures are easier to see. You can upload documents and whiteboard images into Microsoft OneNote, Word, PowerPoint, or OneDrive, and you can also save them as PDF files or send them in an email. Office Lens is one of the best optical character recognition or what we call OCR application available for Android and iOS. It is part of the Microsoft Office 365 package. So marami kasing mga OCR applications na meron magda-download sa App Store okay, or sa Google Play Store. Pero yung mga yun ay may bayad. Pero since na meron naman tayong free Microsoft Office 365, pwede na natin gamitin yung Office Lens. Same function din naman at free pa. Hindi na natin siya kailangan pang Oh, hindi na natin kailangan mag-subscribe doon sa application. Payat na siya ibig sabihin. So paano ba siya ginagamit? So first, open your application, yung Office Lens. As soon as you open Office Lens, you can choose a capture mode, whether rin whiteboard, document, business card. So, yun yung iba't ibang capture mode. So, swipe nyo lang left to right dun sa may baba, sa may, sa may capture button. Yan, yun yung mga example ng capture mode. Meron tayong whiteboard, document, business card, or photo. So, for this example, ginamit ko is document. Kumuha ako ng libro. Tapos, gusto kong makapture yung words doon. No, yung selected words. Yan. Then, pinicturean ko lang siya. Okay. Next. Take a picture after you've selected your capture mode in step 1. So, you can either take a new picture with your camera or import an existing image from your device. Step 3. Review and edit. Office Lens lets you edit a capture image before you save it. So, it looks like exactly how you want. So, halimbawa, gusto natin ito lang part ng book ang kukopyahin natin na pwede natin i-adjust yung crop o pwede natin siyang i-crop kung ano lang yung, pwede, yung gusto ninyong i-convert into words so ito lang yung i-click nyo yan yung crop button okay. by using the crop feature you can trim away any unwanted parts of the image by excluding them from your selection when you have finished cropping the image top done so, tayo sa pagka-crop, pindutin lang natin yan. Kung okay na. Save and share. If your image was captured in whiteboard, document, or photo mode, you can save it to your Android phone's gallery. Or you can also save them as image, as PDF file, yan, document format, or you can save it to Microsoft OneNote, OneDrive, or Word. So one of the we like to read about comebacks, about people or company. So one of the functions of this uh, Microsoft Lens is Immersive Reader. So Immersive Reader meaning babasahin niya lang din yung words na na-capture niya. Okay, example. Companies who face near disaster and turn things around. The Ford Motor Company is an example of that. 
In the 1940s, a reluctance by leadership to modernize almost destroyed Ford. In fact, the government nearly took Okay, so yun yung example. No? Yung immersive theater. So, makakatulong din to lalo na kung medyo uh, malabo na yung mata natin. No? Yung mga partially inferred natin mga students. Pwede rin nilang magamit tong ganitong klase ng apps o yung OCR. So, pipicture lang na. Let's say, meron silang gustong basahin at hindi nila mabasa. Pipicture lang yan. Then, gawa, gagamit nilang nila tong immersive reader babasahin na yun automatic para sa kanila. Okay, so yun yung isa sa functions na itong office lens. So if you want optical character recognition, isa-save lang natin siya into Word documents. Yan, so yung from image, i-convert nyo ito into Word documents. So kung di pa kayo nakapag-download na Microsoft Word sa Android phone nyo or sa cellphone nyo, automatic yan, magda-download na siya. Nagpo-prompt siya na mag-download kayo. So, yun yung siya magsisave. I-open niya yung application na yun. So, yun, Microsoft Word, kasama na rin yan sa package natin. Sa 365. No? Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Wala lang siyang uh, publisher. Kahit yun sa desktop, wala siyang publisher. So, yung mga next tutorial, i-explain ko sa inyo bakit walang publisher na kasama dun sa Microsoft Office 365 natin. Additional information. So, yung captured images natin, kung meron tayong mga saved images sa phone, no, gusto natin i-convert sa Word, yung gaya nito, pwede rin. So, ito, din download ko lang siya as image. Tapos gusto, gusto ko siyang i-convert into Word. So, hindi ko na siya manually itatype. So, gamitin ko lang itong office lens. Then, itong office lens na automatic mag-convert para sa akin. So, Republic computer, ACT No. 4670 June 18, 1966. The Magna Carta for Public School Teachers. Pwede rin natin ma-adjust yung... This is how fast immersive reader will read. This is how fast immersive reader will read. This is how fast immersive reader will read. So now adjusting speed. Teachers. L. Declaration of policy coverage. Sec. 1. Declaration of policy. It is. Okay. So isa yun sa function ng office lens. Anong immersive reader. No? Pwede natin siyang ma-adjust yung speed. So ito kinoconvert ko na yung image into Word documents. So, syempre, pag image, hindi natin may edit yung wordings niya. So, kapag Word documents na siya, editable na siya. So, pwede na natin siyang ma-edit. Ayan, sa Word na siya. Okay, testing natin. Okay, so, ayan, no? na-edit ko na siya. Kita nyo. So, from image, kinonvert ko siya into Word documents. So, hindi ko na siya kailangan pang manually na itatype. Kung may part lang ako doon na gusto edit, so, madali na para sa akin. So, mabilis na yung paggawa. So, makakatulong to lalo na ngayon kapag gumagawa tayo ng module. So, kukuha tayo ng lessons from the book, di ba? Hindi na natin siya manually itatype sa word. Picturean lang natin gamit itong office lens. Iko-convert niya na ito automatically into word. So, That's it. So, yan yung Microsoft Office Lens. So, sana nakatulong itong tutorial na to sa inyo para mapabilis yung paggawa natin ng module. So, yung mga next episodes natin, yung mga next tutorial natin, didiscuss natin yung iba't iba pang application na kasama dun sa ating Microsoft Office 365. At dun sa mga wala palang publisher, don't worry. No? Kaya natin gawa ng paraan yan. Pwede naman kayong mag-install lang ng publisher na yung mismong publisher lang kahit na Office 365 ang gamit nyo so yung mga gusto ng uh, gusto ng software subscribe lang kayo sa channel ko and then bibigyan ko kayo ng software okay